I think it's Child of Alara, creepy baby. We've got a welcome to some Karanos. One, now we're running 99 lanes in here. Can you believe that? Are you excited? No, I'm not. Uh, we got full lanes on this one. Let's go to Mulligan. I'm not too excited about a full grip like that. Chrome Mox, Factor Fiction, Firebrand Arch. Yeah, you know, we can make this work. Let's see what we want to Chrome Mox on that one. Get down the Firebrand Archer. Could go for Mizzix Mastery. You know, that is a nice card, but yeah, we're, we're going to keep on this one. We'll make this work. Sword of Feast and Famine on the Firebrand Archer. Yeah, we could get that going. That's a thing. And yeah, we're going to put that on top. Maybe we should go for a land, but I'm okay with that. All right, let's go ahead and get the island down. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the, uh, let's get the Crow Mox. Let's go ahead and exile the Mizzix Mastery. Yeah, I like that. Get down the Mizzix Mastery and then exile anything else. We're going to get the Firebrand Archer down. And then we're going to go and pass it to our opponent. Let's get Karanos pop back up. And yes, we have new deck. Karanos, really excited about this one. Uh, we're playing Karanos, God of Storms. Uh, Indestructible Devotion 7 turns into a creature. Reveal the first card of your... Reveal the first card you draw on each of your turns. Whenever you reveal a land card this way, draw a card. Uh, whenever you reveal a non-land card this way, Karanos deals 3 damage to target creature or player. Let's go and draw another Sword of Feast and Fame. Let's get the, uh, get the mountain down. Let's go for that. Uh, does 1 damage. Yeah, we can get the Chrome Mox down. And let's go and always yield to that Firebrand Archer. And that's the fun thing about this deck is we've got a couple of different ping creatures in here like that, which uh, kind of keeps it fun. We're going to get that down, get down the Sword of Feast and Fame, and start swinging in, get some good untaps. And let's go and swing in for two. All right, coming across, and we'll go and pass the turn. We're playing against the official creepy baby of magic, Child of Alara. Uh, Wooberg, uh, white, blue, black, red, green. Uh, trample, whenever Child of Alara dies, destroy all non-land permanents. They cannot be regenerated. And see, so opponent's going to go for opponent's going to go for three visits, so they're going to be online for that mana. Now we will be online for Sword of Feast and Famine. Uh, if we do not hit the land drop, we can at least kind of float that mana, one of the mana, and then um, kind of go for there, untap our lands. Actually, we need to hit a land drop because we're not going to be able to untap the uh, the uh, Chrome Mox. Now that I think about it, because we equip for two, we had that one. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do that. Um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and we can still get on Young Pyromancer though. Let's get the Sword of Feast and Famine onto uh, the Firebrand Archer. Go and tap out for red. Equip it on there. We're going to be able to deal that damage, get an untapped step, and then we'll still be able to get down Young Pyromancer on the back end. All right, let's go and push him for four. Look at that. <laughs> An archer with uh, with a bow and arrow and a sword. Love it. All right. We're going to deal that damage. We're going to have to discard a card, discard that snow-covered planes, and then we'll go and lead off with the uh, Young Pyromancer. And then we will be set to go off that Factor Fiction here in a second. All right, going past the turn. Now, this is a new deck. Um, I'm not, you know, you may notice there's only one video. I'm, um, as far as this, like some of my new releases, like if it's a new commander from a new set, I'm still going to do my traditional release of three gameplay videos and a deck tech. Now, I just have a huge backlog of to-do lists. Like, especially Yusova is really high up on my to-do list for sure. If you're sitting there watching this saying, why haven't you built Yusova yet? I'm working on it. Um, Karen, I've had Karanos built for a long time. Uh, let's go to get the Misty down. I think I like that. Let's go and crack the Misty, in fact. Let's go for the Factor Fiction because we can get that uh, that Archer going. Let's get the Volcanic Island down. Let's go for Factor Fiction. It's going to be Blue Red and then Crow Mox. We're going to get a Young Pyromancer token. We're going to get the Firebrand Archer going too. And then Factor Fiction. See, our opponent wants to split it up. Um, not too bad. Cyclonic Griff's definitely a good thing to have in the hand. And then... Um, so if you can't do anything with Pong and Fire and the commute with Lava, we'll see how they kind of split it up. We are a little bit tight on land, so we might end up taking whatever kind of land pile they get. But uh, with the uh, it's simple because Cyclonic Grief is nice, but uh, we don't have enough uh, mana to go for the overload at this point. And then, um, but as far as that goes, we'll, we'll see how they split it up. Okay, but it's going to do it this way. Let's go and go with the commune with Lava. We're light on lands. I want to get down Kyrnos at some point. Um, let's go and push him with the crew. Because um, Wayward Swordtooth is not going to be able to swing in on this one. Not going to be able to block. Let's go and push in. That's going to be six coming across. And then we will have that untap step. And then we can, if we want to, we can go for a commune with Lava. We might end up doing that simply just for two. All right, they have to discard a lane card. And then, actually, excuse me, I forget that Chrome Mox will not untap um, anything else. We're going to go kick back over to our opponent. But yeah, as far as new decks go, you know, if it's a new release, like new commander, new set commander, I'm going to do the traditional release, but I need to start tackling my to-do list. Like, I've been staring at Carador Ghost Chieftain for like a year now, and I haven't even started on Carador. And this, you know, that's a, I love graveyard stuff, and uh, that should be a commander that I would love to get into the rotation. And so I'm going to start doing s some more just kind of like one shots like this on Fridays or maybe even Thursdays or something like that that just to kind of have some fun with it now here's the kicker do we want to go for a commune with lava for one 
you may play those land cards. Uh, we're going to get an extra young Pyromancer token. At this point right now, yeah, let's see if we can't get a little bit extra value. Okay, let's go and get the land down. Let's go mountain. Now, if we go commune with lava, that's going to be, we can commune for three and then still have the untap step. Yeah, let's give that a shot. I like that. That's going to be one, two, three. Commune with lava. That's going to be one, two, and then commune for three. We're going to be able to exile those until the end until the end of your next turn. Yeah, X is going to be three. So we'll see what we reveal off of that. That's going to be a firebrand archer trigger. Oh, look at her putting some work. I love it when good, like, little commons put in some work. Oh, makes me feel, I don't know. I just really like that. Uh, she gets to see her, her day in the sun. Mystic study, pyromancer's goggles and Prophoros. Okay. That's pretty good. Let's go and swing it with the firebrand archer. Um, they can jump block on young pyromancer. So we will not be swinging with young pyromancer. Swinging it for a four, three. Let's go ahead and apply that. Uh, get that four, three It's going to put them down to nine and they're going to have to discard a card. So we'll see whatever they have in the hand. Maybe it's another lane card. Maelstrom. Um, let's see. Maelstrom archangel. Okay. And then we have that untapped for four total mana. Let's go ahead and get down the Prophoros. I think I like that a lot. So we're going to get down Prophoros. It'd be nice to have Pyramids or Goggles or uh, Rhystic Study. But at this point right now, if we're trying to close it out, we've got them down to nine. Um, if they can somehow sacrifice Child of Alara, they will be able to destroy all non-land permanents. But with Perin uh, Prophoros on the battle, <laughs> I'm trying to say Perinos, uh, with Prophoros on the battlefield, we'll at least have that uh, that Trample trigger, um, that Indestructible trigger, uh, not trigger, but just simply Indestructible, then not to trigger. Well, the Indestructible, if something does happen, destroy all uh, non-land permanents. We'll still be in a good spot to kind of do something. All right, but it's going to be swinging in with Child of Alara. That's going to be a 6-6 six, six body coming across. And then Wayward Swordtooth. They need to have the City's Blessing to attack or block. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sitting at 8 permanents right now. So we don't really have to, um, you know, if they make the lane drop for the turn, that would be a little bit unfortunate. And then they'll slowly get to that City's Blessing and be able to attack and swing in with the 5-5. Five, five. All right, so we got Child of Lars swinging in. Let's see if they're going to, anything else I'm going to do for it. Okay, we got Child of Alara swinging in for 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, I think we're just going to go and let this come through. I mean, it has Trample. I'd like to keep the elemental tokens on the battlefield. Hopefully, if we can hit some sort of instant or sorcery spell, uh, simply anything to kind of trigger Young Pyromancer, we can get that going. If we need to, we can go for Karanos. Karanos, I think that's going to be 1, 2, 3. No, we're only sitting at 3 Devotion, 4, 5. So we need to have something else down on the battlefield to kind of take advantage of that. But yes, as far as my to-do list, I'm gonna, that's kind of my 2018 goal. I have two goals for 2018, and that's to uh, get more decks into the rotation. Day of Judgment, destroy all creatures. Um, anything in response to that. No, that's fine. Go for it. And that's going to destroy all uh, non-land permanents that cannot be regenerated. So that's going to be a sort of Feast of Famine that will be our Chrome Mox. But we still have Prophoros on the battlefield, and our opponent is sitting at nine total life. So, and then once we get down Karanos, we'll be, uh, be in a good spot to go. Get that extra card draw going. Um, do we want to get down... Like Young Pyromancer, Pyromancer's Goggles, or Ristic Study, either one. Ristic Study might be a good option. We can still go for Care Notes. It's going to have Indestructible the following turn. That's really going to give us a lot more resources to work with. Because if we tap out for Pyromancer, that would be not... Yeah, let's go Ristic Study. Uh, they're going to go for Child of Alara. Um, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They have to bring it back. Yeah, I think I like going Rhystic Study. Then we can go for Karanos the following turn. I, I like that. Let's go get down Rhystic Study. It's going to count towards our devotion. There'll be another non-land permanent. Then we're going to go and pass the turn. Uh, but yeah, so my, my goal for 2018 is to... I'm going to start streaming. In fact, I've been working on an overlay, which is really cool. Um been really fun with that. And uh, I'm going to actually be streaming on Twitch. And for, the reason for that is... Um, I just want to reach a bigger audience and it's not that I'm not, uh, I appreciate my YouTube audience, but it's just kind of like, you know, I want to grow a little bit. So, um, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch. So I'll definitely be, um, posting in like in my comment section or my community board when I'll be going live on Twitch, but I'm not sure when I'm going to be doing it, but it's going to be soon, probably about a month or so. And then I, whoever you were, awesome idea but somebody said like, Hey, why don't you do church of Atheus on Sunday morning? And then it just like, it was like bells went off in my head. I was like, <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good idea. I like that a lot. Let's go and get the Bloodstained Mire down. Let's go and go for Kiranos. Yeah, I like that. And then we can go for Compulsive Research on the back end next turn. So wait, one, two, three. Get down Kiranos. And then anything else, we're going to go and pass the turn. So at this point right now, if we can simply get down Kiranos, we might be able to just bolt our opponent out, uh, depending on what we rip into. Or we have a lot of burn spells in here, too. We can kind of get that going. Uh, but yeah, so as far as... Uh, 
as Church of Athos, somebody mentioned Church of Athos on Sundays. I was like, ooh. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. I like that. So I'm not going to do it every Sunday morning, but there will definitely be a day where uh, we have a live Church of Athreos service on Sunday morning because that'd be really cool. And they got me thinking about what other decks I could kind of do like that. And uh, having Magic After Dark, when uh, not like super late, I go to bed pretty early. I'm a, I get up and record early in the morning, so I'm definitely a morning person versus a night person. But we'll have more of a Magic After Dark maybe around 7 because that's kind of dark somewhere. All right, so we're going to draw an additional card off this one. We've got the... We got the sad robot beat sticks coming in. All right, is it charm? And then let's go and get the mountain down. Let's go for the compulsive research. Target player draws three cards, and then unless we discard land cards, we'll be online for the land card. It's going to put us at four mana, and then let's see what we kind of rip into. Now, with is it charm? I'm not entirely sure if we want to go for the sad robot to give him another card draw. We're sitting at twenty, so we're kind of okay. Oh, wonderful! Let's go and get rid of a land card. We're going to get rid of the island. Now, as far as what we're going to go for, yeah, let's just go and pass the turn. We have um, we have counterflux, so we can kind of stop whatever they're going to get out there, and at the end of the turn, we can kind of jam a uh, steam augury and then kind of go from there. Okay. Oh, awesome. Hey, no apologies. We got to start somewhere. Glad to meet you. It's looking good so far. Um, and they're going to get the uh, get that coming across. No, I mean, it's looking good. That's another thing. You know, Commander's about having fun. All right, Pope's going to be swinging in for two. It's going to put us down to 18. Let's go and go for the uh, the Steam Augury. Reel the top five cards of your library. Love this card. I did build a uh, blue-red kind of modern deck with it. And range a card into two piles. So it's kind of like, uh, let's see how we're going to split this one. Definitely want Prophetic Bolt into one pile. Yeah, I kind of like that. We get a lot of value out of the other one. We'll see if our opponent wants to get the Prophetic Bolt. Prophetic Bolt's so good in a late game like this. Four damage target creature or player, and then look at the top four cards from your library. Put one of those cards in your hand, the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. So if they choose this pile up here, we'll be able to get an extreme amount of value. Prophetic Bolt's going to be able to put our opponent down to uh, pretty low down there. All right. See what we've drawn to? Drawn to Wondering. We'll draw an additional card. Now, do we have any way to make sure we don't have to discard down the hand size? Time Twister. Okay. Let's go and do this. Let's go ahead and get the uh, Cascade Bluffs down. Let's go for the Gilded Lotus. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's go and get the Felwar Stone down. Where are you? There we go. Get the Baked Potato down. And then let's go ahead and get the Skull Clamp down. Let's go and get Magus of the Wheel. We can start adding some Devotion to our Mana Pool for that. That's going to be 2 damage to our opponent. And let's go and put the Skull Clamp onto Magus of the Wheel. All right, there we go. Anything else, we're going to kick the turn over there. Now, if our opponent does something with Sad Robot, they will get an additional card draw for the turn. Uh, we'll be at least be able to kind of jump block. Now, we could hold up the activation, but I think at this point, with us having Time Twister, we're just going to go and hold on to that for right now. Okay, opponent's going to be tapping out. This going to be one, two, three, four. But also, you may have noticed we have Jace down in the bottom left corner. Oh, oh. Jace is legal and modern. <laughs> yes. It was funny because... um. <laughs> Like, you're sitting on Twitter, and Jace has been banned. I mean, unbanned. And, you know, there's a lot of people that are like, this is bad for modern. This is going to ruin modern. This is terrible. I can't believe this has happened. And I'm sitting over here thinking about my, my Jace Sultai deck that I built for modern. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> Oh, Jace is unbanned? Oh, that's that's so unfortunate. That's terrible. Why would anybody do that? But it's going to go for Root Maze. Artifacts and lands into the Mountainfield Tap. They're going to see if they're going to pay for that Ristic Study. But yeah, anyways, I'm really excited about uh, Jace Sultai. I'm building it for modern right now. My plan was to have it out on um, today but uh, for MTGO Traders, but I just need a little bit more time with it. All right, so we're drawn to Shooting Reef. We're going to draw an additional card off Kyranos. Um, drawn to Snapcaster. All right, that's actually a pretty good draw. Let's get the reef down. So how can we do this? So if we go Snapcaster, that's going to be Devotion is sitting at five. It's going to be six. Um, we cannot get Devotion down right now, but if we go Snapcaster, Prophetic Bolt, um, we can get some stuff done. Yeah, let's give that a shot. Let's go Snapcaster. See if we can't kind of close it out. Fail War Stone. Get on Snapcaster. It's going to be two damage up top. Uh, oh, <laughs> dang it. I meant to click on the Prophetic Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be two up top. Let's go for the Steam Augury. We already, already flashed it in. Sorry about that. I got a little ahead of myself. I got really excited to class uh, click that. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the uh, Dak Fane down and then DOS. And make sure we have those split up. There we go. Okay. I'm going to arrange that into two piles. See if our opponent wants to split up. But yeah, unfortunately. Sorry about that. I misclicked on the wrong one. Got really excited about Jace. Um, let's go ahead and push in for four. Actually, if we go for Is It Charm, two damage target creature on Sad Robot, I think that'd be good. 
they're going to be able to draw a card. Let's go and swing it with Magus of the Wheel. And then for two mana, we can actually maybe dig a little bit deeper and find another, you know, maybe some sort of spell to get down or another creature to get down. At this point right now, we don't have any more creatures. So if we do go for the Magus activation, which we can't go for because it's swinged and attacking. What are you talking about, Jolt? Uh, let's go and go for Time Twister. Uh, it's going to be one, two, three. Our opponent will get a fresh grip, but let's see if we can't. Um, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, we do have Pact Negation. We'll be able to pay for that. So if they get anything down, uh, we'll be able to counter that one, kind of go from there. So I've been recording for like an hour and a half this morning before work, and so towards the end of my recording session, I'm just kind of like <laughs> a little mentally like blah. Like a little word vomit sometimes. But uh, but yeah, so hopefully we should be able to close it out. We have the Karanos trigger coming across next turn. Uh, but we do have Pact of Negation to kind of stop anything that our opponent does kind of rip into. We'll see what they do draw into, but um, we have we got some good stuff. We still have Wheel of Fortune 2 to kind of change it up. Opponent's going to go for Ugin. Let's go ahead and they're going to be able to minus a lot of stuff. Let's go for Pact on that one. Pact of negation. <laughs> Sorry, shout out to our opponent. I do apologize about that. Uh, for one, I just it's never fun playing against like a uh, a lot of big counterspell action like that. All right, opponent's gonna tap out for that Ristic study. So we either have the Ristic study trigger or we'll have combat damage coming across. There we go. Let's go ahead and pay for that. Yes, one, two, three. Do not want to forget about that. Play for triple blue. I always want to pay for those pack triggers. It's never fun doing that. And then three damage up top. Hey, good game to our opponent. Unfortunately, I can't pull up the chat once the game kind of ends like that. But um, Ugin almost kind of put it back in there. You know, exile a bunch of our stuff. We lose out on our card draw. But luckily, we had that Pact Navigation we kind of wheeled into. And can I go from there? But yes, yeah, Soul Tide Modern. So if you're a fan of uh, Jace or you want to see Jason Modern, I'll definitely be doing an MTGO Traders video on it. Uh, it's probably going to be coming out Monday sometime. So be on the lookout for that. And if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.